Welcome back to another episode of Wiccan's Wicked Reptiles. On today's episode, we have to set up one of these because we've got a couple of these. Stick around. Well, I got some baby leopard geckos this week, and which means we have to set them up a home. We're going to use one of these because I don't have a lid for one of these so basically I'm gonna clean this out and uh, get ready but it's freezing outside and they're full of ice so I can't do that right now so I'll show you how in one of these basically the idea is to set them up so that they're gonna be in a small enough area where they feel comfortable and uh, just set them up like a regular leopard gecko now what I do with clutch mates is I stick two of them together in their own containers usually a six quart and then I bring it up to an 18 a 12 or 18 once they get old enough this is a 20 four quart, 28 quart, which is too big for these leopard geckos. But just to show you the idea before I clean up their actual home, this is how you do it. I always suggest using a newspaper because with baby leopard geckos, uh, they're prone to impaction. So you definitely wouldn't want to use a loose substrate. Um, a lot of people say that for adult leopard geckos too. But for babies, definitely use newspaper or paper towel. Spray your, uh, Spray your substrate down just to keep it in place because your leopard geckos, although you're going to give them a hide, they're also going to hide underneath the newspaper or paper towel. It doesn't matter whichever you use, paper towel looks nicer, but it's more expensive and if you have a large collection then it just costs more to do. Next thing you want is a hide and what I use for the baby leopard geckos is these little 16, so it's basically half a liter is the size of it, uh, with the lid with a hole burnt in the middle, and it's burnt nicely so that it's not going to catch their skin and rip them uh, wide open. Now this is your call. You can either use a loose substrate like you would with a regular leopard gecko, or you can come in twice a day and mist down some sort of paper or sphagnum moss or whatever the case is. I've always used um, kind of a, a larger grain type of coconut core um, to make their human hide even when they're babies and it seems to go very well for them I would suggest if uh, you're worried about impaction instead what you can do is you can use paper towel moisten it up a lot um, or even sphagnum moss it's completely up to you and just make sure that your hole is big enough that they can climb in and out with no problems um, and check on your geckos too because sometimes what you'll find is the really little geckos have a hard time getting in and out even if you put a lot of substrate in there so just make sure you're checking on them make sure that they're not leaving one in there and the other one's eating all the food. Um, that's the other thing too. We talked earlier in the week about cohabitating leopard geckos. I think that for babies in the same clutch for the first few weeks, there is no problem putting them both together. If you're gonna have 30 leopard geckos, I mean, you don't need 30 enclosures. You can keep two of uh, the clutch mates that hatch out at the same time together. So this is the exciting part. We're gonna go and open the leopard geckos, take a look at what they look like. Um, and this is gonna be the first leopard geckos of the season. It's kind of exciting. These came out at exactly 52 days. Uh, I think last year they came out at 50, I said last week. So this is basically right on schedule. I wasn't expecting them for another two days because I incubated them a little bit lower temperature. But I think we're ready to go. So let's go ahead and take a look at these uh, leopard geckos. So this is the most exciting part. Um, opening up the leopard geckos and seeing what they look like. Now you got to hold them over top of their enclosure because they might run away. And just for uh, to take a look at which clutch this was, Ooh, well there goes one. So as I was saying, they're uh, very skittish and very quick when they're babies. Um, these are beautiful specimens. Uh, the clutch that these ones came from, I was just trying to check before the other one ran away from me. So these are baby Max Nose. Um, and they're a het for uh, Tremper albino. But in the meantime, let's just enjoy how beautiful these babies are because this is the most exciting part of Red Hell. So this was kind of an impromptu uh, Thursday video, but basically in a pinch, if your leopard geckos come out, before you think they're ready, I would suggest always have a tub ready, which is uh, the best way to do it, which is something I was going to do later on today. But if you find out that your leopard gecko is ready before you are, 
Just keep them inside their tub, their incubation medium, until you're ready to put them in their home. Get their home set up. That literally took me three minutes. Uh, and just get them out. And I would suggest kind of leaving them alone. I just wanted to show them off to you a little bit. Just to show you what baby leopard geckos look like. Because a lot of people will never get to see that. A leopard gecko, an hour out of the egg, is something that you'll never see in a pet shop. They're kept in the back. They're, they don't, they're not on display. I can't sell these animals for a while because... I need to make sure that they're eating first, I need to make sure that they're healthy, um, and realistically, you saw how good looking they were, maybe I'll keep these ones, we'll see. So I'm going to mark them up, put their name tag on their enclosure, and I want to say thanks for everyone who's uh, subscribed, 150 subscribers this week. This was Thursday's episode of Wiccan's Wicked Reptiles, until next week, I'll see you on Monday.